Hi, my name is Candace Lynch and I'm a functional consultant. Today I'll be your tour guide through the newly released Microsoft Dynamics GP 2015. I'll walk you through the application and provide a high-level overview of some of the new features and functionality. Today we'll cover four topics, basic navigation and the layout of the application, setting up user preferences and customizing your home page, creating a smart list, and we'll take a look at some of the common Windows commands that you'll see throughout the GP system and navigation lists. So let's get started. First, let's talk about what's new in GP 2015. Some of the benefits include expanded workflows to help streamline your processing, single sign-on through integration with Microsoft Azure Active Directory, service-based architecture, Business Analyzer R7, and a lower cost self-service user license type. So let's log in and start our tour. For those of you who are new users to GP, welcome. For those who are currently using GP, you'll notice a couple of subtle cosmetic changes to the welcome login page. The color scheme is streamlined to blue and white with white dynamic cells rather than the multicolored scheme that we've seen in prior GP versions. After logging in, GP brings you to this home page. Compared to other GP versions, this has the same look and feel. In GP, there are several ways to navigate the application. We'll focus on the main toolbar first. This is the main toolbar, which can be customized using the layout icon in the address bar. The Microsoft Dynamics GP menu, also called the application menu, is used to set up or change system or company level settings. The transactions menu is used to process the common daily tasks within each series. The inquiry menu is used to view a read-only version of the data and transactions entered in GP. Inquiries also allow you to drill or zoom back to the original transactions. The reports menu is used to print a variety of different reports depending upon your needs. And the cards menu is used to set up and change master data. Directly above the main toolbar is the address bar, identifying the current location in GP. The address bar includes the refresh button, the layout icon, and the help button. The navigation pane is located on the left and consists of two parts. The top section allows you to save favorites and shortcuts and also contains the navigation lists for each series. The bottom section contains the series buttons to access the area pages and GP windows. Additional series buttons can be added or removed by clicking the chevron button in the lower right hand corner of the navigation pane. Lastly, I'd like to point out the lower left corner of the home page where the date, company, and user ID appear. Simply click on the company name if you'd like to log in to another company or the user ID to change the user. This concludes part one of our four-part tutorial.